For the last several years, there has been two style of handguns that have been by far the most popular concealed carry handguns out there. The first is a nine millimeter handgun, by far the most popular, but the second is a 38 Special Revolver. A vast majority of new gun owners picked up 38 Special Revolvers, as well as a lot of people just like revolvers, me being one of them. Uh, it's a great option. It's a great option for seniors. It's a great option for new gun owners. It's a great option for advanced gun owners. There's some fantastic revolvers out there. And really, I believe that it's just a lack of confidence that makes a person think to themselves, well, it's an obsolete handgun. But nonetheless, 38 Special Revolvers, wildly popular. So what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at what we believe to be the five best 38 Special Revolvers out there for concealed carry. Now, we've made other videos talking about the evolution of the revolver and really the advancement of technology is, is really incredible compared to what it was just 10 years ago. Now, before I get into it, I want to take a moment and thank those of you who support this channel through Patreon. We are able to continue to paddle upstream against a, a current of anti-gun, anti-God, anti-family values, and we continue to do it with confidence because you, of your support. So if you feel called to support this channel through Patreon, that link is below. Those of you who already do, thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, here's your top five best 38 Special Revolvers for concealed carry. Number one, the Smith & Wesson m and Bodyguard 38 Special Revolver. Now, the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard concept really originally was a revolver. Uh, they've made some 380s. Really, it's, it's, it's kind of the idea of having a backup gun. Uh, they refer to it as the Bodyguard. The most recent introduction to the Bodyguard line for many has been one of the best options if you want a small revolver in 38 Special. This is a five shot. It's got a very interesting hammer. It's more like a switch than a, than a traditional hammer. Very concealable. Love the grip specifically. The grip is what shows, so to say, if you're gonna print when you're concealing. And I think they nailed it with this one. It's about as good as you're gonna get for concealability uh, in a fantastic revolver. Number two. The Kimber K6XS. Now, this is a new introduction to the Kimber K6S line. The Kimber K6S was the smallest six-shot 357 Magnum revolver out there, but they heard the cries of the public that they wanted a smaller 38 Special. So the K6XS is extra small and lightweight version of the K6S just smaller and lighter and chambered in 38 Special Plus P. It's a six shot. And honestly, I think they picked by far the best grips for this style of revolver, primarily because I believe who they're catering to is seniors, new gun owners, that sort of thing. And it's just ideal grip for that situation. And what many would say is one of the best revolvers made today. Number three. The EAA Vindicator. Now, this has been my revolver, and as many of you may or may not have seen, it often makes the top list of 357 Magnum revolvers, but they also do it in a 38 Special. Now, I like this revolver for many reasons. Number one, it's a very traditional six-shot snub nose revolver that I have found incredibly reliable, incredibly accurate, uh, I just love this revolver. I've owned a lot of revolvers over the years, and this is still my go-to revolver. I haven't found anything I like more than this one. So, of course, I'm going to recommend the 38 Special version of this. It's also really, by far, the most affordable revolver on this list, and a lot of people, they kind of shy away from it because it's so affordable. But the reality is it's made in Germany, and the company that makes the Vindicator has been making revolvers for a long time. Uh, it's a fantastic quality revolver. Somehow EAA is just importing it for a very reasonable price. Number four, 
the Ruger LCR. Now, here's what I'm going to say about the Ruger LCR. Out of all of the revolvers on this list, um, it's one of the smallest, being a five shot. It's similar to the bodyguard and similar to number five. It's a five shot. But the reason that it's significant to me is because the technology they put into the recoil in this firearm is significant. Um, if you shoot it and you shoot another revolver, just the same size, same weight, at the same time, you're going to notice the difference. So when you put a plus P round in a 38 special that is tiny and lightweight, a lot of people aren't big fans of shooting it all of a sudden. Um, it's not as bad as the 357 for sure, but it's going to have a little kick to it, mostly because of the size. Again, that's why I like that EAA because it's, it's heavier. But if you're going to get a lightweight, tiny revolver like the LCR, um, I think your LCR is your best option if you're looking for the recoil control specifically, uh, because there's other things about the other revolvers that are better. It just LCR is going to be best at that recoil control. And finally, number five, the Smith & Wesson 642 Airway. This is by far the lightest five shot 38 special on this list. It is very comfortable to carry around because of the lightweight. However, because of its size and its weight, it's going to kick harder than any of the guns on this list. So it's nicer to carry around because it's lightweight, but it's going to kick harder. You just need to know that. Um, and this was the gun that I fired next to the LCR. And it was a big difference. Same ammo, roughly same size, huge difference in weight and you, and the, the technology in the LCR, uh, gave it a little, uh, a little less kick, so to say. Uh, but it is the lightest gun on this list and it's a fantastic gun. The Smith & Wesson 642 is one of the most popular revolvers in the Smith & Wesson lineup. You put it in an airway, you may, and it's, it is light, lightweight. Uh, it's a great carry option. So there you go. There's what I believe to be the five best CCW 38 special revolvers out there. Now I'm certain there's a bunch I missed. Put in the comments below. Do you want to take a moment and say most people watch this channel, not subscribers? Click that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.